I'm Lori Coleman Brown, and I'm teaching here at Atlas Pilates on Queen Anne in Seattle. And I'm going to teach the toe tensimeter today to my client Diane. And Diane's been doing this for a little bit, so she's already improving her toes. Um, when we first got together, her stance, she really stood back and her toes were really quite clawed. Can you, Diane, just rock back on your heels a little bit and then let your toes meet the ground. Stay on your heels, but touch your claw, yeah. So Diane's, all these little tendons were sticking out and her toes looked like they were drawing back into um, potential hammer toes. And with the toe corrector, she's been able to really ground herself much more nicely in her feet and build her foundation. So we'll take you through her work on the toe tensimeter. Okay, so have a seat here and face that way. And then you'll put the toe tensimeter around your big toes. And now Diane has the hamstring flexibility to be able to long sit like this. Otherwise, we could have her, I could have her sitting off the end with her feet on a box. And now, Diane, put it up on the top part of your toe and take your legs and separate your legs as if your legs are in the strap on the short box. You're getting a little work here and a little up and in your powerhouse. And then, you're going to just take your toes and separate them. And this toe tensimeter, we're not pulling against it. You're actually allowing this to help you spread your toes. Okay? And then while you do that, you try to keep your toes in the toaster. One long line. That's good. And then, so this might take a, a moment to bring the mind all the way down into the toe. So we'll have to be patient. And then you want to reach your toes out like this. <laughs> and then you'll flex your ankle and keep your toes spreading out. And then point just at your ankle, keeping your toes wide. Oh, so hard, look at these guys. Now this, this might be better for you to put this on your second toe. Mm -hmm. So, because your big toe is actually getting pretty flexible and it looks like it's gonna get pulled right <laughs> off. So now, you're separating not only the toes, but the metatarsals. And we're working here today, Diane's transverse arch. So we have exercises for this medial arch and this lateral arch. So now, Diane, you're gonna curl your toes around. That's it. And when you look here, you're looking to see all five little knuckles and it's real easy for one to be dropped down and disappeared so the, the little spring helps you to spread this part of your foot and then you can point your ankles extend your ankles keeping those guys puffed out and then <laughs> don't make that face <laughs> And then just stay this side of the cramp zone. This can be very crampy. And now you'll point your toes and then flex at your ankles. Flex all the way up. Spread your metatarsals. And now curl your forefoot around my hand. And you're looking to fill out any hollow spots. So Diane has a little hollow spot here and this little knuckle is a little sunken down. Now if these bones live sinking down then when you walk it hurts the bone dropping below level. 
And now you'll point at your ankles, keeping this full. And then extend your toes. And then flex at your ankles. And then one more time, curl. So this is very much like the towel exercise with a little assist and guidance for this separation. And stretch these guys out. Oh, that's it. Look, there's life in there. Reach out. And then you'll come up. And we started this doing one foot at a time because it was just too much to get at both feet at the same time. And now you'll reverse, go down with your feet out, and then curl, just like you're gonna make a little fist with your toes. And then you keep your little fist and you'll flex your ankles. And then extend your toes up. Oops, keep that guy in there. So that's nice. And then these three center toes like to work together as a team. So it's nice to have, to collect the second toe in there to help that spreading out. Okay, and then you can point at your ankle. Flex around my hand. Get hold of a little ball, hold on to a little ball, and then flex at your ankle. Good, and it's nice I can assist her here. Feels kind of good. Diane used to wake up at night with cramps in her feet, and that's not happening anymore. So it's been really good work. And then stretch them out, and then I'll take this off. And then you can stand up here again. And you can see after her work, you can just stand up tall and I'll look at your feet for you. <laughs> you can just feel your feet. And after her work with the toe corrector, she's able to spread her metatarsals and have the transverse arch, which, can you put your feet all the way together? Which is an arch that starts low under the pinky toe, rises slightly to the big toes, and then curls down to the finally the little toe. So she has a better base of support here to build up from. So thank you.